3D Campbell Soup Can Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to show you a very simple Campbell Soup Can. So it's just it's a white nail with an Andy Warhol style Campbell Soup Can on top of it that kind of goes with a wallet that my mom has that she got from Coach as part of like their vintage series. So I saw that while I was like, hey, that would make a cute nail. So anyways, that's what this is. It's very simple, very, it's 3D but not, it's really almost more like flat art. So anyways, it's fun, it's simple. I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to start with, I'm going to be applying just a very basic white overlay over the background for the nail. And like I said, it is 3D, but the 3D elements of it, it's just a more of like an elevated can. It's not, I mean, what really, there's not many 3D details on a can anyway. So, but yeah, so very wearable if that's, you know, something that you are thinking about ever is the wearability. This is a design from me that is wearable. I know a lot of people ask me, can you even wear these things that I do? And um, you could usually just for like an outing or something, but this one you could wear for a full two, three weeks, four weeks, however long you go between fills or design changes. So then after you've got your white on there and then a layer of clear, file it into shape. I started with a pretty, a pretty coarse bit just to get rid of any bulk and then going over it again with a much finer bit just to get a nice smooth surface texture. So with silver acrylic, I'm going to be sculpting, like I said, my very basic can shape. And there's a little tiny bit of 3D on this. I did kind of make it so that the top of the can and the, see, I'm just kind of carving in that where the top of the can and then the sides of the can where that little where that little uh, division is, that little line, but it's pretty basic. And the reason I am using silver acrylic is because I like the silver and I thought that'd make a really nice uh, shine for the top of the can. However, you really don't need to use silver. You could do the whole thing with white or red or whatever color you want and just paint the rest. Just bear that in mind when you are working on this. That does not have to be silver. The whole thing could be painted. And if you didn't want to do 3D, this on this design, you could easily skip the whole fact that it's 3D and paint a Campbell Soup Can directly on the nail and it would follow basically the same steps. So then with red acrylic, you're going to be painting the top half of the label. So the Campbell Soup Can label, it's got a band of white, a band of red, and a band of white. If you combine those, it's a band of white, apparently, if you ask my brain. After you have your red down, then go ahead and add the bottom section of the label, which is the white. And as you can see, that covers pretty well over the silver. My silver, I do have silver acrylic paint, but it just doesn't have very good pigmentation, which is why I went with silver acrylic. But yeah, you can switch that up however you like. Silver gel polish usually would look pretty good if you wanted to use that. And then with, or you could use chrome powder too. Chrome powder is always, always nice. Okay, sorry, sidetracked. Then with black paint, you're going to want to be adding the details. So I start out by just adding a little line for the top of the can, and then there's the little different grooves on the top of the can. So there's a couple more little lines to define those. I didn't go too crazy details. Um, you could definitely go take this a little further if you wanted, um, but then take and just do some outlines around the rest of the can here and there. You don't necessarily want to overdo it, but definitely make it so that you can easily see the can on the nail, especially in the areas, the silver and the white, the red, you can easily tell the difference between that and the background, but those other ones, depending on the lighting, could definitely blend in. And then once again, black paint in the red band on the label, you're going to want to write as much as you can of the word Campbell's. It isn't necessarily easy, so if, like I didn't quite finish off the word, but get as much as you can and try to follow that same cursive font that they use in their labels and their um, logo. So just try to mimic that as best as you can. And then add just a little circle on the division between the red and the white right in the middle. Beneath that, you're going to want to write soup. And I know I'm a little bit out of focus. I apologize. And so that's going to be in the white portion of it. You want to write soup. And then inside that little circle that is on there, you're going to want to fill that in with gold and then add some gold on the word soup. And then within the word Campbell's, you're going to want to fill that eventually in with white, which is what I'm going to be doing now. So you just kind of want, you want to do the black first and then go over that with the color that the rest of the label or the word is in. If you do that black first, it's going to have a little bit of a halo of the black around the letters, which will help them pop out, make it easier to read and to see, especially since this is so small. It'd be almost impossible to try to outline these letters if that was your goal. Much better just to layer the layer them up. And so then with red, you're going to want to write the word tomato between that gold circle and the word soup. So you have to leave a gap there. So you don't want to put that in too close. And then with gel sealer, apply that over the background and then over the silver portions of the soup can. So that's over the top portion of it and then just a little bit on the bottom. And then matte top coat over the label. And that is it. Like I said, this is just kind of a fun vintage Andy Warhol uh, Andy Warhol vibe. I did see an Andy Warhol painting in a museum last summer and 
yeah so i just i don't know i was feeling it seen some stuff about it recently so i hope you guys like this and don't forget to share recreations with me on facebook and instagram i'd love to see them and i'll see you in my next video bye